What's up, Gemini gang? Happy Thursday, y'all. Let's see what's going on. Oh, wow, right off the bat. Wow, all right, all Gemini placements. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation, okay? Personal readings are in the description box. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes, y'all. Hit that subscribe. I appreciate y'all. Hit those likes. Hit those subscribes. All right. So let's see what's going on. We have clock here. Mm -hmm. Needing time. Cycles and takes time. Time to heal and progressing. So lots of time, 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 time. Here. Okay. Then we have teddy bear. Yes. Interested in you, blooming romance, flirting, and want to date. Yes. Mm -hmm. So someone is interested, you know, they may be a little, um, I don't want to say hesitant, but, you know, yeah. We have the chaser. Yes. Fear of abandonment, chasing, and codependency. So, Gemini's, are you the chaser here? Then we have butterfly. Butterfly in the sky. Um, evolving in growth. Next phase. Healing inner child and releasing the past. So some of you guys um, are healing or this is someone in your energy. Uh, Gemini is a person on your mind. And I feel like we've seen this this week uh, as far as the butterfly goes. So yeah, you could be dealing with someone while they're going through a healing phase and it's it might be a little bit um i i don't want to say draining for you, for some of you it's draining um because this person might be a little back and forth off and on in and out type of energy but it is because they could be going through some healing or you are gemini's okay so let's see what's going on yeah, okay. King of Pentacles. Could be a Taurus you're dealing with. Ten of Wands. Yeah, Two of Swords here on the bottom. So, somebody willing to put in some work. Somebody willing to court. You may deal with someone that... Um, Four of Cups. You may deal with someone that works a lot. They, they're they focused a lot on their finances. Uh, they may want to build themselves financially. Now, the Four of Cups, it, it kind of gives me a vibe of someone not really showing their hand or showing their feelings. Let's see. Mm hmm. The Page of Cups. Interesting. And the Death card. So that makes sense. Someone is releasing something from the past, Gemini's, and it could be you. You could be releasing someone, but this can also be someone growing and transforming and needing or needing to do so, um, Gemini's. So now the Four of Cups can sometimes be, uh, there, there's a codependency element there of someone just kind of being really comfortable. So I feel like someone has been... Um, They've been kind of doing the same thing their whole life. That's that's the vibe that I get. Uh, and, and they're comfortable there. Someone is just comfortable with, with where they are. But right now, I feel like someone's being forced to grow, <coughs> change, and evolve. Gemini. And this could be you. All right? So take it how it resonates. Taurus and Scorpio are significant right now. I'm seeing like the apology factor again. The Knight of Pentacles, the Fool. Mm -hmm. Wow. And the Four of Wands. So if this is referring to a person on your mind, Gemini's, someone is wanting to have fun with you, date you, do the whole nine. Now, for some of you, there may be a new energy here. Could be an Aries, Virgo. Yep. Some of you may have a new energy in the midst, excuse me, in the midst of waiting on this other person. This kind of confirms, <clears throat> this Knight of Pentacles kind of confirms this person like trying to build themselves up financially or build up their material world, um, Gemini. So take that how it resonates with you. Like this person trying to... Um, 
Seven of Cups, odd, very odd. Six of Cups, you don't know where you stand with a person or vice versa. Like someone doesn't know where they stand here. But it makes me wonder why. Someone may battle some type of addiction too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the tower here on the bottom. Someone may have some type of addiction ah, that they are battling, uh, Gemini's. Whoa, I almost saw the death card again. What the hell? We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Six of Cups here. So, interesting. Someone is releasing something from the past. It could be a person. Um, Gemini's. Yeah, someone is letting go of the past. Letting go of like confusion and stuff too, um, Gemini's. Someone has an abandon, a fear of abandonment, and it could be, it could like manifest in indecision as well. Um, it's like one minute they're the chaser, they're chasing, they're pursuing, and the next minute they seem like they're not interested. It's because this person operates from some type of trauma. Um, and they try to like maintain control or try to maintain, uh, some type of hold on you, um, Gemini's, but I feel like you are going to, someone is, is trying to get more, um, first of all, they need to release something emotionally, or this is you could be a cancer you're dealing with, or this person is, is trying to, uh, be more open emotionally. Um, or learning how to be more open emotionally. Uh, this is going to be for a very small few of you, but I feel like for some of you, you may deal with someone that had like an abusive childhood. Yeah, so um, take, take that as you will, but I, I won't go too deep into it. But like a physical abuse and the other type of use I'm not going to say on the camera but you're dealing with someone that that is that has some type of childhood trauma and I feel like it was some type of childhood abuse um from someone okay so keep that in mind that's not going to resonate with all of you <clears throat> but I do feel like uh Gemini's you're dealing with someone that is like still learning their emotions they're still learning how to open up they're still learning how to express um, they do have something that they have to release from their past. I feel like this goes back even to childhood for a lot of you. Like this, this may not even be, um, now granted they may have had like bad, bad relationships, but it does, it didn't start there. Whatever this is, this started when they were a child. This started way back when, uh, Gemini's and it just kind of manifested in this person's relationships. Okay. Um, and then this, this could also be you, Gemini's, that, you know, you, the stuff that you went through growing up is manifesting into your relationship and you are starting to become aware of it. Um, oh yeah, I forgot this card says healing inner child. I was just getting that from the page of cups. So yeah. Um, and I feel like it's emotionally, like this person's trying to heal themselves emotionally, um, from something that happened, or it could have been something uh some type of feminine figure in their lives that has something to do with it um gemini's okay I, I feel like they may be trying to get over uh a past lover a past connection but it's not that like it's it's deeper than that this is what i'm seeing here it's deeper than you know oh they had a bad past relationship or whatever this is something from this person's childhood when they were growing up. This is what I'm seeing. Or it's you, Gemini's, okay? Um, that is, this person needs to heal. And I mean, like, for real, for real heal. And it may take, you know, forever. But they do need to be healed enough to at least come together with you. Or come together in the connection. Now, y'all know I always say you don't have to be totally healed uh, to be in a connection. You won't be totally healed, to be in a connection, you know, but you need to be healed up to a point. Okay. You have to be open to a point. You have to be uh, open to receiving to a, a point 
you have to be uh, submissive to the connection to a point for, for you to even get there. And then you both heal together in stages. Okay, so I feel like that's where this person is trying to get to. This person may also, like I said, like, like their default is to like kind of act like they don't care even when they do. Their default is to, um, I don't want to say ignore, but like when, when this person goes through things, they, you just, you feel ignored or they ignore you, um, Gemini's, but I do feel like sometimes this person likes that. Like this person likes people to chase them and all of that while they act like they're not interested or act like they're not into you. Uh, or whatever the case may be because of this uh, fear of abandonment that they have. So I feel like, Gemini, if this person is, you know, acting funny, acting in and out, acting, you know, super romantic and then kind of pulling back, it's because they're operating from a, a place of trauma. Child. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Ten of Cups. They do want it all with you, though, uh, Gemini. And I do feel like they... They are working intentionally to be able to provide for you or to contribute to your life in some way, uh, Gemini's. Like they don't want to just come in and not um, not give anything or not contribute. You may deal with someone that's very traditional too, very traditional, very conservative. Doesn't matter what their gender is. Okay, it could be an earth sign, water sign. So especially here with the, um, oh, you know, especially with the teddy bear here with the Ten of Swords and the Fool, it's like um, this person is, is going to be, I feel like more available, even like emotionally, this person becoming more physically available and more emotionally available to be able to go out and do things, to be able to date. It's like they want a fresh start. Like, I know I wasn't available. I know I wasn't uh, emotionally available. I know I wasn't open. You know, I know I was playing games. <laughs> um, you know, I know my finances weren't right. But, you know, now I can, I have a little bit more wiggle room. That's, that's kind of what I'm getting. The Ten of Wands kind of gives like an almost there kind of vibe. Mm-hmm. I told you, the lovers, wow. Wow, Gemini's page of cups here on the bottom. Wow. Yep. Yeah, this person is going to extend. And if I feel like if this person didn't have time for you for whatever reason, okay, for some of you, it's work. For some of you, it's just they're not emotionally available. They're not they're not mature uh, emotionally. I feel like this person is going to make themselves more available to you. Whether it's dating, whether it's doing things uh, for you, whether it's doing things with you, um, Gemini. Is the Hierophant, yeah. See what I told you? See, see what I told you? <laughs> That's not how you say it. <laughs> the High Priest is here. Yeah, you're dealing with a divine counterpart. The High Priest and the High Priestess is a divine counterpart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like, too, this person is... Um, learning their their morals learning their values learning how to stick with their own shit that's what i'm getting without a whole lot of outside influence because this person may have a lot of outside influence uh over them they may get advice too from someone i think I'm, i may pull a card to kind of see like what that is <laughs> Yeah, the world. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing the Page of Cups here as well. And I'm seeing the Six of Swords under the Page of Cups. So like I said, this person is still is learning something. But they are. Now, the world is about evolution. So like I said, this person is, is evolving and growing. Even though you may not be able to tell right now. <laughs> Some of you can tell. Okay. Or again, this is you. Uh, but nine times out of ten, you're probably mirroring each other. But I, I'm kind of getting, uh, Gemini's, it's, you guys are coming out of a frustrating stage with this person because of their off and on, their in and out, their uncertainty, you know? But like I said, I feel like they operate from trauma. 
they operate from fear. Anytime you're operating from a place of fear, you can't operate from a place of love because they both can't reside in the same place. So if you're, if you're fearful, there's no love present. Okay. Um, if, if, if there's love for real present, then there's no fear present, if that makes sense. Okay. So I feel like this is what this person is learning, um, to not always operate from fear. And this is how they operate. Uh, but it's based on their, their beliefs, you know, let me get another one for this. Yep. Thank you, spirit. I'm getting, I'm getting Taurus. I'm getting Libra. The temperance Sagittarius, yeah, getting balance within themselves. This person feels like you're their soulmate too. Um, Gemini's, this person thinks you're their soulmate or feels like you're their soulmate. <laughs> to the point where they feel like you, um, y'all are like the perfect fit or the perfect match or whatever the case may be. Uh, the temperance and the lovers is definitely soulmate energy. Like this person sees marriage, sees long term. The temperance is about getting balance between your uh, subconscious and conscious, your logic and your emotion. And I feel like that is what this person may have been lacking. Like I said, being emotionally unavailable. But it's, it's, I feel like it's, it's from some past trauma from this person. For some of you, they've never told you this. Like they've never told you the extension of um, what they went through as, the, as a child that created you know where they are where they are so you may know about a past relationship that they were hurt but this is deeper than that this is this surpasses that and very rarely does it start at the relationships a lot of times it starts in childhood um gemini's but i i do see this person uh evolving growing now i'm not saying they're going to be totally healed okay so there's going to still be bumps in the road. All right. It's, it's not going to be perfect. But like I said, you don't have to be healed to be in a connection, but you, you need to be healed up to a point to be able to even receive that other person. To be open to that other person. If that makes sense. All right. So let me get a couple of handwritten and then I'm going to wrap this up. I feel like you definitely encourage them. Um, yep, see what I'm saying? I'm sorry I pushed you away. See? This person knows they pushed you away. They know that. For some of you, you're still going through this. You're still going through this, this off and on stuff with this person. But the reason for it is because they have... It's, it's something from their childhood that they are... They might be healing from or battling from nothing in my life is the same since you left and let me shuffle one more time and get some more <laughs> love hate relationship <laughs> that's the vibe i got from it because i feel like you're just kind of tired of this person um take that picture slash post down <laughs> especially those of you that are like looking for an exit um, Lions, Tigers, Bears, um, by Jasmine Sullivan. This song talks about being afraid to love. Uh, like I said, that's the vibe that I get. This person is afraid to love. They may even think that it, it has to do with, uh, please don't leave me. I feel like, yeah, fear of abandonment, child. Worst, I assume. I told you. You have to listen to this song. In the song, she's literally talking about, she always resumes assumes the worst and she says um i assume that you're gonna do shit to that might break my heart so i keep up my guard so i feel like this person just has their guard up um you know that's part by her yeah they may think that it's a past person oh it was my ex it was my baby daddy it was my baby mom i know it's this is from childhood because that, that's where it started. Because that's why you choose the partners that you choose. I was a fool to let you go. Mm -hmm. Can we at least be friends? <laughs> I feel like some of you guys are kind of over the shenanigans. I'm ready to open up. I told you this person is really working on trying to open up emotionally. You make me want to risk it all. Because I feel like you either said this is what you wanted. Or are they just assuming that this is what... 
uh, you want, Gemini's. I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. That could be either one of y'all's energy. <laughs> I love you more than I show you. All right, Gemini's, hit those likes. Hit that subscribe, y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace out.